It is now official. India has made history. In this video, I will show you the history about the Chandrayaan mission and why could this mission make India even rich. So make sure you like this video, follow this account, and turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss other videos. However, let's start with the history of the Chandrayaan mission. The Chandrayaan mission is a series of Indian lunar exploration missions. Chandrayaan-1, India's first mission to moon, was launched successfully on October 22 in the year 2008 from Sriharikota. The spacecraft was orbiting around the moon at a height of 100 kilometers from the lunar surface for chemical, mineralogical, and photogeologic mapping of the moon. The spacecraft carried 11 scientific instruments built in India, United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany, Sweden, and Bulgaria. After the successful completion of all the major mission objectives, the orbit has been raised to 200 kilometers during May 2009. The satellite made more than 3,400 orbits around the moon, and the mission was concluded when the communication with the spacecraft was lost on August 29th in the year 2009. On July 22nd in the year 2019, ISRO launched Chandrayaan-2, the second mission aboard the launch vehicle Mark III. It included an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover named Pragyan. The plan was for the lander to touch down on the moon in September 2019 to deploy the Pragyan rover, but it crashed due to a deviation from its intended trajectory during landing. Despite this setback, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter continues to study the moon from its orbit and plans for Chandrayaan-3 and other lunar missions were suggested. The European Space Tracking Network from the European Space Agency is assisting this mission. A new arrangement allows them to support upcoming ISRO missions. Chandrayaan-3 is India's third lunar exploration mission. It includes a lander called Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, similar to Chandrayaan-2, launched on July 14th. It successfully landed at the lunar south pole on August 23rd in 2023, making India the first country to soft land on the moon's south pole. But why is this special now? The lunar south pole region is believed to contain water ice deposits that could convert into rocket fuel or drinking water for future crewed missions. But that's not all. Landing on the Lunar South Pole is challenging due to its rugged and uneven terrain, which makes finding a suitable landing site difficult. Additionally, the Lunar South Pole experiences areas of constant darkness and extreme cold, posing challenges for maintaining power and thermal stability for landers and rovers. And how does the Chandrayaan-3 mission benefit India? The Chandrayaan-3 mission benefits India in several ways. Firstly, it enhances India's technological and scientific capabilities, showcasing its prowess in space exploration. Successful lunar missions can boost India's reputation globally and attract collaborations with other countries. Furthermore, lunar missions like Chandrayaan-3 expand our understanding of the moon's resources and potential for scientific research. Discoveries related to water, minerals, and the lunar environment could open up opportunities for future lunar mining or research projects which could be economically advantageous for India. Overall, the success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission can foster technological development, international collaboration, and potential economic gains for India. As we embark on this remarkable journey with Chandrayaan-3, don't you wonder what new discoveries and insights we might uncover about the moon's mysteries? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and remember to stay tuned for more exciting updates on this incredible mission. And as always, I hope that I... See you again.